Oh, it's shaking, baby. Oh, goodness. Okay, hang on. Let me take these headphones off. Sorry, I was eating some trail mix. So, I was doing this thing where I saved all the M&Ms for Ann. But I don't really know if she's been eating it recently. So, you know, kind of got to just take what you got while the getting's good, you know what I'm saying? In other words, I started eating the, the, uh, what are they called? The M&Ms by myself. So I was looking at this picture of Ghost that Ann sent me. He looks so happy. He was playing in the leaves. He's the best dude. I love him so much. Him and I are like best friends. I wish it was a live photo. No, it isn't. He's always just so happy to see me. It's awesome. Not that Anne isn't always happy to see me, but she's not. You know, you know how that goes. My uncle asked me yesterday how marriage uh, was going. And I feel like with everything else in life, like people expect a positive answer. It's like, hey, how's your day? Oh, uh, good. How, how are you? Good. And that's it. But he asked me how marriage was, and then I always give people a dissertation. It's 11.58 p.m., Thursday, October 26th. High Speed comes out. In one minute, it's 11.59. I'm so excited. I've actually liked 57 songs from The Blue Adana, which I don't even understand. I don't even think I have 57 songs. So let's see. The Blue Light's 10 songs. Sped Up, Slowed, and Reverb. There's 30. Songs I made in a past life, four times three, twelve. There's forty-two. Well, okay, I guess the singles, I guess those don't count towards. That doesn't make any sense, though. Then there'd be another thirteen, and there'd be two. No way, have I released, hang on, twelve, thirty. That's forty-two, and thirteen. Wow, I've released fifty-seven songs. That's insane. Only God could have whipped that up, man. That is that is crazy. Well, I'm about to release my 58th and 9th song. I'm guessing... Oh, it's midnight. Oh, guys, I cannot... I'm sure you can hear it in my voice, but I'm just pumped. Is it going to show up? Dun, 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 dun. I feel like this is how excited I should always be when new music gets released. High speed, single... Let's go. I can't listen to it yet because I'm on the pod. Uh, and of course, now the... It, oh, couldn't find that album. It's not even an album. It's two songs. It's one song and the sped up version of that song. Something went wrong with the artist's discography. Well, I didn't... Oh, man, I wonder if like that thing was due and I didn't pay it. No, it's still showing up. Huh. Singles and EPs show all. All right, we're just going to close out of Spotify. No, it shows up right there. There it is. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to send it. While on the pod, I'm going to send it to so many people. Let's see. First one, my wife, of course. Babe. And it's okay, dude. Oh, this is so exciting. Nisark. Nick. Jordan. Uh, who else? I won't send it to my mom. I'll send it to Breck. Hey, Breck. I released a new song today. Here it is. Uh, Tony Haytherm. I released a new song today. I hope you like it. No homo. I didn't put that last part. I'm like so... It's like I haven't felt like nervous like this in a while. I'm so pumped. That was why I think it's good that I'm recording this now. Because I wanted to like... I don't know, there's been, like, a lot of anticipation the past, like, two years. Because Anne and I were getting married. So then you have to plan that whole thing, which is just... A whole, never do that. Whoever is listening to this, just elope. Don't actually elope. Just, like, invite your parents. My cousin Michael did it right. You invite both parents, and, like, he didn't have any siblings. And I don't know if his wife has any siblings. And they just did it in some beautiful foreign land. Missionary in a foreign field. For some... Hey, Olivia. That's my sister. Um, here's a new song I just released. I also sent her a picture of a ghost. Uh, 
and a picture of Ghost. He's so happy. I love that guy so much. All right. I was going to send it to Charlie. Oh, and then I have to send it to Will Carlson. Shout out, Will Carlson. Hey, Charles. Here is a new song I just released. I... The thing is, okay, I still have Will Carlson's number. I think. For some reason, I thought he changed his number. Hey, Will. It's John Britt. Hope you're doing well. I wanted to show you this song I just put out. And... Uh, should I say anything else? How do you say something to someone who you haven't talked to in, like, years? I feel like it's kind of weird. I don't care. I'm a weird guy. <laughs> I really am. Hey, Will, it's John Britt. Hope you're doing well. I want to show you this song I just put out, and I hope you like it. Dun, 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 dun. He might have gotten like 17 links because I hit the enter button a bunch there. Okay, who else should I send it to? Connor. I feel like I can't send it to ever. Like, I feel like that. As soon as you think about what you're doing, you're doing something wrong. Hey, Cliv. Here's a new song I just put out. Sand. Hope you like it. That's the best advice ever. How did it go? Oh. And texting me. Ah, oh, she texts me a minion's gift. Um, as soon as you think about what you're doing, you're doing it wrong. Why did Calvin Harris stop singing? How on earth did that come up? Uh... That is just not at all. You're doing it wrong. Ooh, we should just listen to Doing It Wrong by Drake. Is this boring? For me, this is... Hey, that's actually what came up, Doing It Wrong. When a good thing goes bad, it's not the end of the world. It's the end of a world that you had with one good... He's so good. My goodness. Ah, oh, dude, I was listening to my side today. You know what? I just released my best song, but I feel like a B-side off a, a Drake compilation album is better than that, man. That's how good this guy is. Why you never come to... Oh, man. It interpolates another song? Well, that's why it's so good. It ain't about who did it first. It's about who did it the best. John Britt. I just said that right now. Yeah, I don't know if this is boring for you guys or not. Is everyone asleep? <laughs> And, and sent me four Minions gifts. I like how the only person to respond to that is my wife. I feel like that's pretty telling. Um, oh, goodness. Dude, I don't know what else to say. I'm nervous. I'm pumped. I just want to listen to the song like a million times. I just need to record this pod so that way I had it documented what I did. I also feel like I should document more stuff I do. Or just, you know, do more stuff and have other people document it. That's probably better. Oh, sorry. I don't know if you guys can hear that stink bug. I love stink bugs, man. And I we call them bing stugs. <laughs> bing stugs. I'm so pumped. I hope this song just blows up. It just absolutely explodes. I don't see why it wouldn't. I mean, it's pretty good. It's been pretty good. It's great, dude. I love this song. Is that wrong of me to say? I love this song. I feel like I should. It's so crazy to like see this song on my Spotify now. Because you guys have to understand. I've had 24 songs stocked up for like a long time. And now I already have like 10 more. Let's, let's count. I went through them today. I mean, we don't have to count. Three, six, seven. Then Jupiter, lovely, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, I have like another 50. Wow, I have, oh my goodness, I need to start releasing stuff. Because there's such a difference. Like people, when they hear this song, they hear this song and everything I've put up up to this point, right? But 
uh, I hear like everything I'm, everything that comes after that and all the stuff I'm working on right now. So I'm currently in like March of 2025, yet I live in October of 2023. I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's how I feel. Zach Pryfogel, if you're listening, please let me know what you think of High Speed. I would text you the song, but I don't have your phone number, but I'll directly address you on the podcast. Zach Pryfogel, please listen to the song. I think you'll really like it. Um, Dude, I don't know what else to say. I feel like I've been talking for like 10 minutes now. It's probably good enough. Probably just going to watch an episode of Modern Family. Or like 15 of them. And, yeah. Apart from that, hope everyone has a great weekend. Big Ohio State victory this past Saturday. Hopefully we can beat Wisconsin. I don't think that there will be an issue there, personally. But, you never know, dude. Marvin Harrison Jr. looked great. Our defense looked tremendous. Really just a running game kind of blows. And Kyle McCord uh, sort of looks like a 7th grader. Yet, dude, the thing is, is like that 7th grader, though, he has enough going on around him where he looks great. He kind of looks like the lead singer from 90s Kids. 90s Kids Band. His name's Corey. Man, they used to just have three people. Experience new band. Valley Reality, virtual news of Appalachian communities. Experience new band 90s Kids and their genre-busting music. Can't believe someone referred to it as genre-busting. Just, I feel like that's been everyone's thing recently. See, they're, ah, oh, dude, that aesthetic's so cool. They have... I might just rip that off. I'm going to rip that off. 90s kids, if you're wondering where I got my artwork from, what happened? Oh, goodness. Um, it's, it's Command Shift 3, isn't it? That's what... Yeah, anyways. I have this thing where it's like two people sitting with milkshakes and their, their logo in like neon. It looks really cool. Instead of playing video games and doing stuff like that, we got to do band things. Looking at it less of a chore and more of as a hobby, it makes it easier. Oh, I look at it as a burden. I totally get what they're saying, though. It does, It you definitely get better results when you just have fun with it. Not have fun with it, but, like, when there's a healthy amount of, like, pushing yourself and... Uh, I don't know. I'm reading this article now. This is kind of a tangent. With over 3,000 followers across social media. They have a lot more than that now. Over 73,000 monthly listeners via Spotify. I have 11 monthly listeners. That's a new record. Can I tell you guys something? I think this is div- this is providential. It has to be, bro. Like, I ain't trying to toot my own horn, but like I will. I really believe that my music's good, Right? Like, I believe it's awesome. And yet, somehow, I have 11 months. Like, it doesn't make any sense, dude. I could just be, like, really blinded by a lot of different things. Like, I could be, you know, you use a a wood, if you know what that reference is from. But I'm dead serious, man. Like, I think it's providential. Because I think right now, like, this moment in time, I'm supposed to be as hungry as I've ever been. And then I'll generate the best music I ever have. And then that compounded with what I've already made will then, you know, propel this thing forward. I don't know, dude. I have no idea. And also, who knows about some of these monthly numbers? But let's look at 90s kids now. 90s kids. Bum, 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 bum. They have 47,000. I feel like that. I feel like it's been higher. I feel like they hit, like, a hundred thousand at some point from what Jordan told me. I don't know. I at least thought they were at 60,000. The band has tours coming up in several Ohio cities. Okay. This is from what? 2018. Yeah, I was right. I was just a lucky guess. After interviewing local Athens band, the only word I can come up with to describe them is humble. That's awesome. They ooze a sense of casual confidence, man. Colin Quigley 
Okay, this is the person who wrote this, in case anyone knows him. 90s Kids brings a sense of nostalgia for any kids born in the 1990s, but goes beyond stereotypical imagery and... Okay, I'm kind of done reading this. I apologize. 90s Kids in 360 Degrees. Um, so much love for these guys. Words cannot explain how thankful we are for every one of you. Last night was amazing. Oh, I want to watch this. I hope the audio... Yeah, so it should be on my MacBook. All right. I'm going to watch this old video in 90s, kids. Um, and hope everyone has a fantastic weekend, bro. Good luck to the Ohio State Buckeyes. Everyone stay safe out there. And listen to High Speed. That's the song of the day. Freaking High Speed by the Blue Adana. And as always, do your homework. Ain't no way. Diddy in a day, mofo better come out here and show me, show me. Ain't no way, way, diddy in a day, day, mofo better come out here and show me. Damn! <laughs>